Hi, I'm Diane Conklin with Complete Marketing Systems. Welcome to the kitchen. <laughs> you may be wondering what in the world I'm doing sitting here with a bottle of wine and some carnival cups and paraphernalia, and I'm going to get to that in just a minute. But this is a continuation of our series of marketing lessons learned from Carnival Cruise Line. By the way, because I am in the kitchen, you may in fact get to see one or more of the dogs walking by. Hopefully they'll be quiet while I do this, but uh, you may get to, to see part of the family here. So marketing lessons from Carnival Cruise Lines. What does all this have to do with that? This is a plastic cup and Carnival puts their drink of the day. Every day they have a drink of the day and it's different every day of your cruise. They put it in these cups and you have the privilege of paying <laughs> dollar and a half or two dollars more every time you get one of these for the cup. Now, if you give them back the cup, then they reduce the price. But a lot of people, you know, it's a little souvenir. A lot of people take it in and if you don't tell them, they automatically bring you the drink of the day in the plastic cup so they can charge you more. Now, I'm not advocating that we do things in our businesses to charge more just for the sake of charging more. But, you know, you're on vacation, it's, you know, you're having fun. Do you really care if you end up with a few carnival cups? Obviously, we did. <laughs> so that's just one example. Here's another one. They put a different drink in at, on a different cruise. Uh, just, you know, just showing you some of the paraphernalia that we've paid for while we were on vacation and having fun. Now, this is a fun little thing. Again, yes. You might think we drink a lot when we cruise, um, but one of us does. This is, again, it's a container for, for a drink, and this little thing is actually the, if you've ever been on a Carnival cruise, you know it's the end where all the, the motor and every, all the stuff is uh, out there and the black smoke comes out of here when they start the engine. So this is a fun little thing, it's a place for a straw. Uh, obviously, again, we paid extra for the privilege of having the, I call it the Carnival booty. Um, <laughs> with us at one point when we when we went same thing they charge you more for this drink because it's in the little souvenir cup one of the things we haven't purchased a drink in is they also have this little monkey that's made out of a coconut <laughs> it's really cute we haven't done that one yet but I'm sure we will at some point so all the drink stuff here's the other interesting thing that they do with the drinks if you walk on to the Lido deck, which is the pool deck and kind of where the, a lot of the food and stuff is, especially the first day, there's always people standing there with a tray filled with these. Now remember, on Carnival and on the cruise lines, you don't pay with money, you pay with your little card. So that's just a couple of the things. Now, why do I have this bottle of wine? It's very interesting, there's now a wine club. This was relatively new uh, when we cruised the last time. I hadn't seen this before. There's a wine club. And so when you get on, you can pay, I don't remember what it was, 40 or $50, whatever it is, to be in the wine club while you're there and you get the selected wine that the maitre d' picks for that night that goes with that particular meal and there were some other things involved in it. A couple other things that they do. That This is full, by the way. I just want you to know that. So a few other things that they do. There's a soda card that you can buy when you get on the ship if, if you drink... Um, you know, Coke or Pepsi or Diet Coke, whatever it is, instead of paying for every one, you have the privilege of paying $36 for a five-day cruise. And you have to decide, is it, is it worth it or not? At $2 per, per soda, per pop, whatever you call it, um, it may be if you're a big soda drinker, if you have kids. A couple other things that, that I want to point out that they do, there's a supper club on some of the, the, of the trips where you can go in, it's sort of like a private restaurant, it's very small, and it's 40 or 50 bucks a head, and they have a menu, and you can order off of that. Very, very nice. I could go on and on about the, the added things that they do. On this particular cruise, you could have dinner with the head chef and the maitre d' at a, at a closed, in a closed-off room at the table. There was an extra fee for that. It was like a, I think they said a six- or seven-course thing, wine, everything was included. The point of the matter is... And like I said, I could go on and on because they're, they're ingenious at doing these things. How can they take the captive audience that they have and monetize it? And not monetize it by hundreds of thousands of dollars each time because they didn't ask me to spend $100 or you know $1,000. They asked me to spend an extra dollar fifty or $2. They asked me to spend you know $50 or $60. Not big chunks, 
but when you've got several thousand people <laughs> on the boat, it could turn into big chunks over the course of the cruise and certainly over the course of the year, uh, your fiscal year. How can you apply that? Look for ways in your business where there's hidden money. Look for ways in your business that you can add things that people might want, maybe not as a souvenir, but additional content, additional services. What can you add in your business that people want and they're willing to pay for while they're making another purchase that can easily be added on. There are all sorts of ways to do this. There's all sorts of hidden money in your business, and I'm gonna challenge you to go out and find it in the way Carnival has. I'll be back again with another lesson very soon on marketing lessons that we learn from Carnival Cruise Lines. I'm Diane Conklin with CompleteMarketingSystems.com. We'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.